Hello, in this video we show you how to check on the Samsung Galaxy A3 for software updates. Now, it's more than likely that your device will automatically notify you when a software update is available, but you can get your phone to manually check for updates. So with the device switched on and providing you've got an active internet connection, be it a data connection or wireless connection, you need to access the settings on your device, either via the apps tray or from the notification bar. When you're in settings, you need to go to more and you need to scroll down to about device and it's in here you'll have the option for software update. If you tap on that, you'll see we've got three options. Update, which we tap on to go and do a manual check for updates. Auto update, where it checks for updates automatically, so it'll tell us where an update is available through an icon in the notification bar. Wi-Fi only, it says only download when connected to Wi-Fi. And we can switch this on or off. And when we've got it off, it means we can download the update either through Wi-Fi or through a data connection. Preferably, you want it on Wi-Fi only just because the size of updates usually are quite big. Now, what we can do is we can actually go and check for an update manually. And I'm gonna press this here and it's connecting to server to see if there's an update available. And there is an update available and because we've got a wireless connection, it's going off to download that. So you can see that the update is actually 58 megabytes in size and it's downloading it as it goes through. Now we can cancel this and stop the download if it wasn't convenient, or we can hide it and we can still carry on doing things on our device, but what we can still do is scroll down from the top and we can see that it's actually downloading the update package here. Now the size of the update will differ depending on your device and if updates are available at all. Sometimes it will come back and tell you updates aren't available and that's because the manufacturers release them at different times based on your device. So it goes through the update procedure and then once it's sort of downloaded the update, you'll be prompted to install it. You'll be given the options, you'll be taught through it on screen and you can decide whether you install it immediately or later. It will require your device to uh, power itself off and back on again to apply the update. So it can take a few minutes to actually do the update procedure. It will also mean there may be some changes, so do be considerate and you may want to do your research as to what update this is and what effect it will have on the device. But generally, the update is designed to improve performance, uh, plug any security gaps and everything like that. So always follow the instructions on screen, read it carefully, cancel the update if you're not happy at any point and potentially speak to Samsung if you want further information. But that's how you check for a software update on the Samsung Galaxy S3.